show you the two male clients. I'll go Gmail first. So it's a normal Gmail inbox. Really nice application. The only thing it lacks though is it uh, generally lacks multi-touch zooming control for changing the fonts, but otherwise very nice app. Of course you can also pull in your uh, Gmail through the regular mail application. Works the same way basically. You don't have access to um, priority inbox and things like that, but you can get a combined view. You can see uh, whereas some of the messages have a, a red edge to them, some have a, you know, I guess you would call them maybe cyan color. Let you see which message comes from which inbox. Pull up this one, take a look at it. You can see there's multi touch support. It seems to be missing color though. Um, let's see if I can find something with HTML. And I, here we go, some HTML support there. And of course, this also works in landscape mode, but no split screen mode like on the. Uh, Samsung Galaxy S2, which has a little bit larger screen at 4.5 inches. You can easily switch views here. I like conversation view. This is the internet browser. The uh, dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor is pretty quick. It handles uh, flash well. Uh, if I reload the page here, you should see that we have uh, animated flash banners on the screen. Takes a couple of seconds for those to come up. You can, of course, disable the flash or make it on demand, which uh, makes pages load more quickly. We're on a Wi Fi connection here, not the uh, high speed HSPA plus network connection, because it's not quite as fast as Wi Fi here in my area. Um, I've seen this on a number of devices, not sure what it is, whether it's YouTube's fault or whether it's the fault of the browser, but the uh, embedded YouTube video is not coming through, even though there is proper flash support, and theoretically, um, I guess it could be sending it in HTML5 mode. This is taking a little bit of time to uh, finish loading, but you can see the browser is still quite responsive and of course we have the uh, animated banners running now. Naturally, uh, landscape mode support and uh, don't worry about that noise, that's my ring dragging on the uh, back of the phone. When it hits the metal panel, it makes a little bit of noise. It's not any kind of interference or anything. Multiple windows support. So we can uh, see like the, uh, the mobile CHTML version of the site. And of course, you can pull up other sites other than mobile burn. Here's the uh, CNN site. Go into bookmarks visual view of bookmarks and of course a nice assortment of widgets to work with it we'll pull up a new widget here and uh, much better organized than you find with Samsung's Galaxy S2 and I, I keep comparing the two because they come out basically at the same time and very close to the same price point and similar processors. I'm going to take this one here and I'm just going to say all bookmarks to make it easier. And it says it's too full so let's uh, remove that one and try it again. There we go. Now we have our bookmarks. Here's HTC's gallery application. I just pull up the camera shot so we can quickly look at what we've got here. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with the camera and uh, especially the speed. Flash modulation is pretty decent when used. Uh, wasn't used in this shot. But you can see uh, it's not overblown. Maybe actually even a little underexposed for this flash, but the, uh, the focus is very fast. The macro mode automatically kicks in. Um, Pretty cool. Uh, 
also has this thing called Perfect Picks where it tries to pick out your best photos. I'm not sure um, what the algorithm considers your best photos. Um, obviously, I haven't taken that many so far, so none are um, showing up here. I'm hoping in the future at least some will be added to that automatically. Take a look at the main menu here. And like other HTC devices, it's kind of um, paged, even though you can theoretically scroll manually, but you see the line there, and that's where it snaps into full pages. I believe it makes it easier to find what you're looking for. Um, Dan doesn't like it as much as I do, though. You also have uh, access to frequently used apps with this tab, and just ones that you've downloaded and installed, or applied updates to. Uh, obviously, Gmail comes pre-installed. And for those of you interested in such things, here's the uh, Quadrant Benchmark score. It came out with 2,239, which is uh, quite a bit slower than what Samsung's Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile managed. Like other Android devices, there are a lot of different accounts you can put on a device. Um, you can see we can add Facebook or Twitter and get contacts. Uh, Gmail and get contacts. Same thing with Exchange and Calendar, all that kind of information like that. Um, there's also T-Mobile's Contact Backup System and um, the Kick Video Chat System. So that's my brief overview of the HTC Amaze 4G for T-Mobile USA. Really nice device, um, about 12.1 millimeters thick and uh, 173 grams. A little bit heavy, especially compared to the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2. It's also more expensive at $259.99, but it does have a very powerful processor and a really fantastic camera. And um, of course, HTC's very polished user interface, which, which is always a, a pleasant experience to use. So again, that's the Amaze 4G for T-Mobile USA. I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.